my first year in the seminary, my apostolic work was to serve at St. Francis House. I went with another seminary, John McLaughlin. And each week that we went to serve the homeless, because that's what St. Francis does, uh, the job we were given was to help serve meals. And each week that we went, there was this gentleman who was there, clearly someone very financially successful. You could see just by the clothes he wore, the suit was clearly very expensive, very well tailored. But he was there every week. And each week he would come in, he would take off his suit coat, put on an apron, and just start serving the guests that were there. No matter what they asked him to do, he did it. He didn't question it. He just was there to serve their needs. Now, I'll be honest, it would have been very easy for this gentleman to have simply written a check to help St. Francis House. But he gave what really was probably the most difficult thing to give in this day and age his time. How hard we do find it to do just that. And yet, each week, he was there without fail. And in doing that, he really taught me a powerful lesson. Because think about this. This happened over 30 years ago. And it is still something that remains with me. I still remember watching him do this. Now, I'll be honest, I don't remember his name and I'm not even sure I ever knew it. But he did something so, so important. He was a sower. He planted seeds. And he planted a seed in me that is still bearing fruit. Because as I remember what he did and how he did it, as I said, with a sense of compassion, not pity, with that sense of compassion as he served them, it was clear it was one human being simply reaching out to another human being in need. No judgment, no sense of I'm better than you, it was simply, I can help you, so I will. How important that really is. What a wonderful seed that gentleman planted in my life. And yet, I have a feeling he has no understanding that he did that. No understanding of sort of that seed he planted in me. And ultimately, all of us are really our call to become sowers. Because we're either going to be a sower or a reaper. And as I tell people, it's very rare that we get to sort of reap the fruit of the seeds that we sow. Most of the time, we're going to just be that sower. Who's planting seeds in the life of people and touching them in ways we might not know. I'm sure that gentleman had no idea how he was touching my life. And what it would mean to me even this many years ago, after. But it also, when our lives, when we're touching other people's lives, we have no idea, and they may have no idea, of the seeds that are being planted in their life that will bear fruit in ways that they can't understand, that we can't understand. But the important thing isn't that we understand, isn't even that we see sort of the results of what we're doing. It's simply we're willing to allow Christ to use us as his instrument. And that's what that gentleman did. He allowed himself to be an instrument of Christ in the life of others. And that is how we really are called to sow. Let us each seek then simply become a sower, to be able to be willing to simply scatter the seeds of our faith 
through our actions, through our words, and the life of others. That they may come to truly see Christ acting in their life, even if they don't fully appreciate it in the moment. Because the power of the seed that is planted is that it will borrow itself into the ground. It will find its nourishment and it will grow and it will bear fruit. They may not always understand where that fruit is coming from, but that's not what's important. What's important is that their, life was their lives were touched through our actions, through our words, and Christ was able to be able to work in their life. Let each of us then seek to become that sower, to bring that change in the life of others in ways that they might not even realize is happening. They may not realize who has done it, but in the end it doesn't matter because the fruit that Christ desires to be born will happen. God bless.